friggin' rights, boys. Just about to put it in reverse, so I thought we should hear this. That sounds like broken pieces flailing around in there. No chance that's good. But it's Sundards Fundards. We're gonna get back here and turn on the live mix cigarette. But uh, for now, we're off, so should be not too bad of a day today. There's the great potentiality of uh, picking up a Dodge today. But in other words, this one's kind of cool. I'll show it to you when we get there. It's Chris. Chris, pleased to meet you, Chris. That's the guy, eh? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That's, I think the floors are solid. It's just not, uh, it's just the crap. I'm pretty sure the floors are good in it. If you uh, get under there. Well, well, no, there's one spot right there. <laughs> there is. Okay, yeah. Other than that, yeah, I didn't even realize there was one spot. Oh yeah. Ooh, looking pretty tough. A white hat special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's got the that's got the uh, original bill of sale in it. Oh, there it is. There, yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah. That's wow. The original bill of sale from uh, 1982 in uh, Virginia. Huh. A copy of it anyway, they didn't get the original. Yeah. yeah. Warranty still in there and the owner's manual and all the rest of it, yeah. It, I got it, it had about 80,000 miles on it and, and it, came, it came here from Arizona. And I'm pretty sure it lived its life with a camper on the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, because there was a set of Gabriel hijackers on the back with the little compressor and the controller up, up front and oh, all yeah. that on it when I got it, yeah. And um, you could see where they'd slid the camper in and out of it, eh? Oh yeah, I you rubbed can the... See, yeah, you can see the, the box where they stand the camper in the mouth. The box is pretty solid on it. What you see here oh. is what 90% of it is like around the sides, except of course where the gas cap is. Oh There's yeah. There's always a soft spot right there. The frame's solid under it. I just chucked it up, none of the wheels are seized. Oh, this, yeah. Uh, either, there's something unhooked there. I'll do the same on the other side. I don't know what's unhooked in here, but something's going to come Pinched the whole whole back end, eh? When it got hit or something, there should be a half, should be a half inch there. Fuck. <sighs> Best truck I ever had. Uh. Honest to God, this thing slant six in it is not underpowered by any means. It rolls down the road with the heaviest load you could. Where were you running into it? Dent, dent there and dent over there. Oh, Are you just that's hammering that's onto it? <laughs> So the distributor just jobs in right down right there. there. Yeah, here's the clamp and the bolt. I had the front plug out for the so you can time it. Oh, fuck. In a car with a white hat spec and uh, rims and a trim package, white vinyl roof. And air. That's it. No door locks, no windows. Uh, just the rims. Roof. And uh, and um, oh, and the air. They all do that. Yeah, all these dodges have a problem right there. And it's got a little factory tint in it. Even the slider. There's a mild tint to the glass, as you can see. Factory rims on this. One. They're not trailer wheels. Eh? They're a lot thicker. No, yeah. They could be sandblasted and then re and re and restored. Chrome bolts, chrome center. It said central. Um, yeah, and, and white. 
And I believe, yeah, pinstripe. Pinstripe. Hmm. That's the wheels. If the car, the white hat special, had steelies with a nice center and a pair of trim rings. Oh, yeah. You know, but not, not like aluminum or nothing, but uh, they called that, uh, you know, trim, trim yeah. package, right? They were steelies with the round holes in all the way around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then they'd have a, a center in them, you know, some kind of Dodge or Plymouth center in them and, and, a, and a pair of trim rings. That was the trim package with the white vinyl roof. And they advertised it in 1982, White Hat Special. Mm. Um, kind of like a low, a low, a semi-loaded vehicle, right? You could get out the door cheap. <sighs> Every fucking panel's yeah, dented or rusted been like or that since fucking... I owned the truck. That one there, I have no idea what the hell the deal was there. That was been that way since I got the thing. Um, I did the back one myself, but. Uh, and the other little dents are in <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, you take 500? No. No, I think it's worth more than that. I, I do. It's, there's too much truck here for that. Yeah. I, uh, I get too much interest in it. There's, like, you're the third guy already in the last day or two. And so, you know, it's, uh, both the other guys are, are just thinking about it. So, uh, yeah. That, but that talks cheap. Standing here with cash means a lot, but I won't. I won't do five. I can't do five on it. I take a hundred bucks off. I'll go six fifty. That's as good as. Yeah. If there, fuck if there's a little left. But. Alrighty. No worries. Okay. You're good. All right. Yep. Have a good one. Oh, I can't buy everyone. I see. love to trust me it's got the steering wheel I need and the friggin door handle but I can't pay $650 for a door handle and a fucking steering wheel where's the look though white hat special friggin first generation of the Dodge Factor pretty cool but just a little bit too dickered every panel's got a rust hole in it or a big dent or you know the roof's fucking rotted out and dented well, the only good thing on it's the steering wheel and the window cranks. Engine's pooched, fucking rims are just fucked, and he's like, oh, these could be sandblasted and restored. Fucking what? No, they can't. I thought maybe I could friggin' snag, snagulate the fenders off it and, uh, you know, try to, try to match the patina spot. Worst case, I'll just buy fender bottoms or buy a truck with some fucking fenders onto it, cut the bottoms off, find some dented fenders and just cut what I need off. Well, the floor's fucking solid. First thing I do, crunch, put my fucking hand right through the floor. Oh, well, oh, look, heal me leaf. It's a weed trailer there. Squishy, see? It's the old heal me leaf weed trailer, boys. Should go pick up a dime, a dime bee. Birch Pine Park. Memorial Meditation Garden. Just go see friggin' uh, the green leaf friggin' trailer there and get some friggin' herbicides and then go to the trailer park with the meditation lair. Not gonna take 500. You're gonna let me walk away for 150 bucks on a rusty old shit truck. Okay. I think I missed out on that friggin' uh, the one with the boom ladder lift arm thing. I should have just grabbed that when we were there. Like, man, I'm stupid, but sooner or later I'll find one. Like, who's gonna leave a first gen Dodge with a White House special trim package just in the bushes to friggin' get filled up with leaves to just rot away? Kinda cool that I had the friggin' copy of the original bill of sales onto it. But that, you know, that doesn't make it worth anything. It's just neat, you know. And it's all shut the fuck up about the White Hat Special, but friggin', uh, hey, you don't see many of them around. We'll back to Inwood. Smoke some cigarettes, holy. This guy loves friggin' Shelter Logic friggin' tarp chamois, eh? Fucking six of them in his yard. Well, we're back. I'm already kicking myself. Hey, who doesn't buy a White Hat Special for $6.50? Oh, well, we've got a bull's dick situation. I started, I started drilting. I don't know if you'll be able to sort this it or not because I can't get down that low. One of the no, it's this one down here. That's the one I started drilting, right there. 
but then I quit because that got hard really bad. Then I started pooping, and then I quit because that got hard. Eh? Yeah. Get the fuel tank out of there, do a little pooping behind it. But uh, if you look close, you'll dauntus the the ridges from the from the cab on the 83, and then on the 92, you got this big hump. So that's that's no good. That's no good. Hey, are you being mean? You're on the pops. You're just belligerent me. Gurgle, gurgle. Oh goodness! Hold on. Here, I got a kiss for you. Oh, oh, that just sprayed my underwear with peanuts and corn kernels and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I need to scrub out my butt. But uh, yeah, you could see where the cab was rubbing because there was no cab mounts left in it and everything. But then, so yeah, it's totally not going to work. Which makes more sense. We'll just clean this out, get the gas out of it, hook the sender up the way the sender goes, or whatever you call it, the friggin' uh, the um, gauge friggin' antler, because uh, yeah, this one it's not gonna work. So gauge goes to the gauge, so it'll totally work, and it's just a different liquid. That's the only only issue. Get the lines in there. You're gonna you know whatever. Just hook up. One's one's an in, one's an out. The rocks, but uh, yeah, I'll have to pull all these wirings off, and you know we'll just hook up whatever sensors. You know we'll just get the regulatory uh, type sensor situation and uh, go from the hithered. But right now it's how much or something. Oh shit! I was gonna bring you guys. I was gonna bring you guys with me. You wanna come? Yes. You wanna come? You wanna come? Yes. You wanna come? Yes. You gonna come? Huh? Oh, Greasy wants to come. Huh? Gurgle, gurgle. Oh, I was told it was how much for something. What is even happening right now? Is there anything sitting on your desk? Negative. How much is on That's horrible. But yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go get a truck, buddy. I apologize. Eh? You 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 gonna come? Why? Well, tell your old lady. We'll be back by nine. What's her deal? Go to get another truck. Another oh, you gauge. started the car? No. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Let's get our barons. Let's get our fucking barons here, boys. Oh, fuck. This is an actual fucking ride program. Is it? Yeah. <coughs> Can't think of the name of it, it's on my GPS here. Just 31 kilometers. Perfect. Alright, safe drive. Thank you. You kept my gloves warm with your bum heat. That's terrific. That? Yeah, they're nice and warm from bum heat. They might have a little bit of stick in there. Holy fuck, it just reeks. Aftermarket fucking tail lights. Yeah, you're doing alright. I just I'm losing. That was a long drive though. Yeah, I know. Holy that. fucking suffering. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's whistling. Oh, nothing's turning. That's what the stink is. Just burn the belt right off it. Oh, buddy. No. That's, do you got a, uh, what is that, like an 18 or something in a fucking barn? We could see if we can't get that turning. Yeah, yeah. She's a tight squeeze. You know, the guy from the city even complained about my square body. 
Oh, yeah. He's like, you don't have that just sitting up there. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is a nice truck. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, buds. You got it in park? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably use the hood and the fenders on my truck because it's got after Well, the hood's rusted through and the fucking fenders are aftermark and they don't fit where the fuck, so. Oh, shit. I gotta paint, it's red, so I'm gonna paint the whole thing black anyway. Oh, hold on. Scores! Scorsese! All right, man. All right, so if I find any more uh, cheap pickup trucks, I'll uh, give you guys a call. For sure. Don't forget your battery. Yeah, no. That'll go fuck fucking flying good. off there, something terrible. <laughs> fuck it, maybe to hit the cop car. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Yeah. That's all I need. Right, right on, me, man. Guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. Smoke cigarettes. <laughs> well, boys, it's been a stressful last friggin' hour. Fucking all the fuel stations on the way are closed. We have literally no fuel. There's no fuel in there. I'm keeping an eye on the friggin' gauge here because once she drops, I'm gonna shut her off. But we are on Inwood Road. We're probably six kilometers from home. Oh, just make it, you bastard. Hey? Oh, rusty bastard, please, buddy. A couple more KMs on the old fucking fuel tank supply valve there, and we'll be laughing. Oh, Rusty H, you did it! Well, we made her back. It's almost despeeny. Camera's gonna friggin' uh, just totally not, I guess. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Can't remember what year it is. Uh, 2000 or something, maybe. I don't know, 99. But oh goodness gracious, I haven't been that out of fuel in a minute. Oh, camera's doing friggin' psychedelic effects. That's just great. Eh? That's just friggin' great. But, uh, yeah, we are supposed to be home like an hour ago. Friggin' Nelson's sister and his old lady got a, got a friggin' work in the morning, probably, eh? Poor bastards. But, uh, I gotta work in the morning, too. Got another big, uh, big day plan, plan for tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna sick. I need, to, I need something to eat. Oh, my goodness. But, anyways, boys, that was, uh, that was not too bad. We got a do another dodge. And we got another friggin' dodge, so friggin'. Holy fucking living shit. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Are you in shit? No. Oh, just a little bit? A little bit. But... <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I apologize. It, happens. it wasn't my fault. Well, it totally, absolutely was. But... Did they get it done or what? What? Did, did she say about getting it done or? Oh, I don't know if they got done. Oh, I so. Oh, I hope so, but. Anyways, boys, Slater's frig got friggin' uh, we got another truck. We didn't get kajiji Well, we probably got Kijiji. I had to look at it in the morning, but aftermarket tail lights, friggin' it's got some stuff, you know, the cigarette mirror thing, the friggin' yeah, should be all right. But uh, if you need any parts off uh, any type of vehicles, we're really stepping up our friggin' parts game here and in with some terrible. So uh, if you love that kind, of will finger five that like button. If you missed them, a couple of inches from early in the week. But anyways, there you go, another dick about what I'm talking about. Until tomorrow. I'll just get you.